Hello, welcome to the queue. We're going to go for the tech rolls at the start of turn four here. Let me set the camera where we can see. Uh, well, I guess let me show you first. Japan uh, has chosen zero dice uh, to roll this turn. Uh, you pay one IPC for each dice, so uh, Britain is going to be spending six and US seven. So I will roll Britain first. All they have to get is a six or a five. So there's a six and two fives, so they're good. Now US is rolling seven dice. Yeah. Oh, luckily he spent that seventh buck. Um, so they both get their tech. And then Russia I haven't heard from yet, so uh, if they want to roll their dice, they're gonna have to do that at the beginning of their turn and subtract their cash. So that is where we are. Germany uh, has the tech, uh, the jets, and then these two techs have not been revealed yet. They just, uh, US and Britain just got them. So let's go over here and do Germany's turn. And uh, we just took a break uh, over there. We've got the uh, Global War 36 game going and we are in uh, I think January of 1941. Um, so U.S. is, they just needed a roll, I think, of six to get in the war. And then uh, Russia is even further behind, but I think Germany's going to attack Russia next turn. So anyway, that's that game. This is this game. And there's your purchase for Germany for 25, two tanks, submarine, infantry, artillery. The next 25, five infantry and a fighter, and then 11 would be the uh, transport and an artillery. So let's look at the battles. Uh, the first battle, we'll get that out of the way. It's a walk-on. Let me ch should have chipped that out to begin with. One guy's going to go into uh, Morocco, and one's going to stay there in, uh, what is that? Casablanca, gonna stay there. All right, that's the easy one. No naval battles, mostly out of Navy, just a bunch of subs. Uh, so here, let me widen, I, I zoomed in on that table. Let me widen it out here. All right, so for the maneuvers here, let's move our planes. We're gonna have a uh, tactical Stuka come over here, one, two, and we're gonna do a Target select on that tank, hopefully get rid of that. But if we don't, we're gonna send in three artillery. And let's send in, well, you know, all these tanks are coming anyway, so we'll send in the four tanks as well. So I don't believe that Russian tank will be long for the world. Get these markers out of the way. That's a non-com. All right, so there's that attack. The second attack, um, movement of three. So that's gonna be this fighter and tack. This uh, Western Ukraine has a movement of one left. So these fighter and tack coming from Berlin, one, two, three. So they have a movement of one left. All right, so for the infantry part of U Ukraine here is gonna be three infantry coming up. Now for the infantry part of Eastern Poland. Let's get these out of the way. I've got two infantry from Romania, seven infantry from Bessarabia, two artillery from Bessarabia, and uh, I gotta believe that's gonna do it, right? He has four units, five units to defend with an anti aircraft gun. All right, so that is the three attacks, but wait, the attacks I forgot last turn. We've got a walk-on here in Viborg, one infantry, and then in Karelia, a walk-on of, what is that, six, seven infantry and an artillery. All right, that should do it. Let me see where I can put the uh, dice box. Oh, well, we're using it on the other table. Let me go grab it.
All right. So is that going to be... It's visible, but it's a ways away. Let me move the camera over to this side so you can see everything. There we go. All right, first battle. Let's get that target select out of the way up here in Baltic State. And that worked. So goodbye, Russian tank. And that one's over. So the next battle, there is an AA gun there. I have remembered. I have two planes. It's all white there. That looked bad. All right. So that means I've got two artillery. So that means two twos for the artillery, two of the infantry at two, seven infantry at one. And then I have a fighter a tactical. However, the fighter has jet technology, so that'll be a four. Ugh, three hits. That is a terrible roll. So the um, AA gun and two infantry go away. Leaving two infantry and uh, artillery. So let's get the five twos for the Russian defense. Thank you very much. We'll take a green chip off the stack. I love just getting beat to death on my own dice. All right. So let's go back to where we're going to take out three black dice. That's really all we're going to do to change this. All right. Yeah, it'll be four, four at one. All right. And I can't believe this is going to a third round. All right. So now Russia has three twos back at me. One hit. Thank you very much. Get rid of that infantry. All right, so we'll take one more uh, black dice out of our German roll. Thank you. Always a little too much too late. So Russia defends with a two. All right. So that battle is over. Move those in. All right. So the last battle, I've got three infantry at one. And then a tactical at four. And remember, the jet technology is at four as well. Two. So that battle is over. And they get to defend with two at two. <laughs> Making me chip. All right. Well, I was going to have to chip it anyway to, to put out uh, an infantry on there. All right. So that is the end of the combat, I think. Let me make sure here. I don't want to get ahead of myself. That is it. All right. So... Germany goes up two, three, four, five. Five from Russia and one from France, way down there in Morocco. So that will be, I forgot already. Two, three, four, five. So they go up six, five from uh, Russia though. All right, so that puts Russia down to 31, Germany up to 50. All right, well, that's not, uh, not very much for round four. All right, so what we got here to land our planes? Two left for this uh, Stuka. He'll head back to Berlin. I have three left for these, this fighter and Stuka. Is that even on the... It's not even on the thing, is it? I'm going to chomp. All right, so one, two, three, back to Western Germany. I knocked my marker off there. All right, so these have one, so they have to land in Bessarabia. Okay, so we got our planes landed. So let's move 
this anti-aircraft gun up to eastern Poland from Romania. We have a mech from Bessarabia, which drives up to the Baltics. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six tanks, so I'm going to chip that out. We'll make that one red and one tank. And all six of those tanks are going up to the Baltic. All right. Where we will not have a repeat of performance of last turn. Okay, so landed. We've moved that anti-aircraft up. These are still there. I believe let's do some railing. We're going to rail four dudes and an artillery. One, two, three into Bessarabia. And that is our full five allotment on railing. We got a guy here we're going to rail. Um, one, two, we're going to rail him into Poland. We have a infantry artillery in France that we're going to rail. One, two, three, Romania. One, two, three, into Slovakia. I think that's where we're going. Because I think that's where the counterattack might be. We've got this air transport taking two more guys down to Gibraltar. So the air transport has to land there. All right, where was it at? It was up here in Germany. One, two, three, four, five. So I could land here in Casablanca, but then he's, he's more exposed to attack than he is in Gibraltar. I'll just put it that way. All right, we got one slub slipping down to 83. These two subs are coming up to join a third sub in 109, and we're going to convoy the turds out of Britain, London. Uh, one thing I do, I'm looking for a convoy marker. Not that it matters, because it's not my turn that the convoy's rolled on, but we'll do it nonetheless. All right, so three subs. So... We had a discrepancy on the count because I think we forgot to increase Scotland to three. Um, Sired had said that should have been a three to get Britain, I guess, up to where it needs to be. So they can convoy six here for London and three for Scotland for a total of nine in that C zone. And I'm confident my three subs will do that. At least they'll get three bucks, right? All right, so the other moves, move my money. Gonna go into the Lindley zone there with that sub and then a destroyer. It's coming down to 112 and that sub from 114 coming over there. I believe that is, no it isn't. I've got two more planes. Can you see that? No, you can't. All right, so two planes from Cairo. They're gonna fly over here to Rome, make use of that air base. And now, oh no, I got this bomber. My mistake, that was almost costly. All right, so the bomber in uh, El Amain goes one, two, three, four, five, six into France. All right, now I'm looking around. I think, I think that's it. All right. We'll call that good. Set that down and place out my units. So I've got a sub to place. We're going to place here a 93. The fighter is going to go up here in western Germany. Of course, i got two guys going into France here. In Berlin, I've got one tank. In Germany, I have one tank, one infantry. Transport in C zone 112. Well, that leaves two artillery and three guys. I think we're going to put them 
as such. I think we'll put one artillery in France. All right, so. I think that's it. You know what, we don't need to put that artillery in France. Let's put it over here. That way I can rail five if I want to move that tank. All right, so let me look at the IPC tracker at $50. Germany has one unit in Egypt, Denmark, Norway, five subs on the map. So that will give them a total of $65 for next turn. Recap. <laughs> I almost forgot to recap. All right, so let's go around the world. We'll start here in the South Seas. We got a sub in Sea Zone 83, one infantry in Casablanca, one infantry in Morocco, Gibraltar, four infantry, one tactical, one transport, uh, air transport. Um, doesn't defend uh, at, a, at a dice roll, but you can't take it like an AA gun casualty, so... That's why we put the marker under it. Uh, C-Zone 93 is a sub. C-Zone 109, three subs convoying England, as if it isn't worse uh, or bad enough there. C-Zone 112 is a sub destroyer transport. C-Zone 126 is a sub. That's it for the Navy. We'll start at the top here. In Karelia, I've got... Three, six, seven infantry, one artillery. Viborg, one infantry. Baltic States, one mech, three artillery, six, ten tanks. Eastern Poland, two artillery, five infantry, one anti aircraft gun. Western Ukraine, two infantry. Bessarabia, four infantry, one artillery, one AA, one fighter one tactical. Slovakia, Hungary, one infantry, one artillery. Poland, one infantry. Berlin, one tack, one tank, two artillery, three infantry. In western Germany, two fighters, one tack, two AA, one infantry, one tank. France, two infantry, one bomber, one AA gun. Rome, we have two fighters, and in Egypt, Cairo, we have two infantry. Now it's a wrap. Russia's up next.